Hello and welcome. This is Kevin, also known as AWOL, and today I want to try to mess with this pattern that we did and make it ready for doing a bag. Um, Mandy helped me by finding this, and these are some of the colors we're going to use for it. And this is where we're going to actually build our pattern. So... I think the first thing I need to do though is to pick a color that will be um, like the color that sort of runs through everything, right? So in this one, we used like a white, um, but this one is going to be black and we don't, oops, wait, cancel. What did I, did something wrong there? Um, going to be black because I have a lot of black string and it'll look nice. So I think for the most part, I probably, for this video's sake, I probably don't have to color everything in for the video. I just have to figure out how this whole thing works. So yeah, out here will be the black one and this will come in to the middle. Is this bigger than it's supposed to be? This seems huge. And then it's the dark one comes in one, two, three on the fourth one. One, two, three, the fourth one is here like that right okay so so far so good um and then it's sort of what every other one right yeah for three different things like that so yeah i guess this is the right size so these go to the middle um like that one there that one there, this one here, okay, so essentially it is like that, and then this out here is just going to extend downwards to here, and this way as well. So now one of the things about this bag that kind of has me the most excited is the notion that we're going to make the colors go different. Um, like, so this just had like the two sets of colors. We're going to do a lot more than just two sets. So let's pick something over here to be... Um, guess we're going to go with this purple, yellow, green thing. So there's our purple. Can we really? Okay, hang on. Let me see if I can't just lighten that up just a bit. Just for the sake of being able to see it better. And yeah. So this is going to be our outside color. And now we're also going to have to change something. Before, the innermost portion was the color from the other square. We're going to change that to be the same color as from the first one. So this is, this is our first part here. And then we got this kind of a golden-y... I don't know what color. I know there's like a fancy names for some of these colors. I have, I'm not super good with that. But I like this color. It's cool. And then either green or the pinkish thing, I think. For now, we'll just go with that pinkish thing. I'm going to have to like kind of play around though a bit when it comes to actually making this because 
um, I really do want it to have that very 70s vibe. And then like in the center where there's going to be no, no not there. All right, so now let's pick colors from a different square. Let's go with this one. So this is the outer. And then inside of here, let's see, one, two, three, this is one, two, three, four, yeah. This one, this one, this one. No, something's wrong. Why is it wrong? Oh, no, it's not. It's right. Okay. I got myself confused thinking that I wasn't getting the right thing here. But yeah, no, that's right. Like that. And then this outer color is what's in here. Right. And then it's got this uh, sort of offish white color. So yeah, the, my, my object is to make this as much like an old Afghan like what's in this picture as possible. Try to find colors that sort of give it that that vibe. I might actually keep this bag to myself just because I like the whole concept so much. Okay, so that's this one here. Um, let's go for one more. Uh, let's do this. So I got this super bright orange. I'm going to put it over here. Yeah, I, I like where this is going. Um, I think this is going to be a lot of fun. And I, I will fill it all in so that way the web page has the full version. Um, oops. because that would be neat. You guys can then try it out for yourself. Okay, and then this outside color goes down here. So this is kind of like only showing like the three different possibilities for the colors. It's gonna be more because the, uh, the bag itself would be um at least four of these segments four of these these diamonds at the top so that's a lot of opportunity for me to play with lots and lots of colors which is obviously part of what the excitement is all about so let me show you oh and by the way so this top square ends up being exactly the same down below it. So there's not a whole lot of reason for me to try to keep repeating this down very far at all. Um, it's essentially the bag itself will have, have like three of these um, diamonds coming downwards. Actually, it'll have three of, this, of the one set down below, which will bring it down a little bit further. And um, yeah. It'll be cool. So quick, copy, paste it, and then we'll use our flip tool here and flip that over there. And now we can anchor that layer. So in this version, you see two of these being the same. Let's just grab some other colors just to cover it up and do something weird. Um, we need the paint tool. So this is, uh, change this out to a lighter gray. In this case, I really think that it might've been cool to have done it almost with the black color for the, the pattern itself. The only thing is, is it makes it really hard if anybody wants 
to change the colors um, because essentially you can use this this uh, select by color tool and you can pick any one of these colors and just change it for something else uh, using of course the paint tool with it and uh, that makes it kind of easy to to try out your own vibe whatever you want to make with it um, and for some people they need that ability to change things um, so they can kind of test it out and see if they like the way it looks so then there's that blue and uh bright yellows and we must have hit like a little shadowed part of it or whatever because that's not very bright but there kind of gives you a little bit more of an idea and then you can kind of imagine that the ones that are on the sides uh they link up together um to make it the cylinder obviously though they'll be set apart much further but it gives you the idea of how this thing is going to work. I'm going to fill out the underlying strings and get this put up over on the web page. And then you guys can check that out. So thanks for hanging out with me. Thank you to my Patreon supporters as well as my YouTube members for making this possible. Um, this is obviously going to take lots and lots of string. And um, yeah, I'm pretty excited about it. So uh, yeah, I'm not sure when we'll actually get around to making it, though. Um, there's other ones that are planned for before this. So, yeah, it's still something to look forward to. All right, guys. Thanks again. And as always, don't get your strings in a bunch. <laughs>